way station was a place that um, Robert Monroe and I visited and would talk about. Um, before Monroe died, he and I knew each other, and um, because I had had Kundalini, I was in and out of the body, he was in and out of the body, and had written um, Journeys Out of the Body, I think was his first book, maybe. But um, we had these conversations back and forth, and one of the um, things we had both discovered were that there were these cities where people gathered after death because they weren't dead at all. They were just in a different state of existence, a different state of being. And we were, both of us kind of, I'm going to say, um, disappointed, I guess would be a light way of putting it, that this way station just looked to be more the same. And we, um, and it wasn't until we had both spent a considerable amount of time going over there, exploring, asking questions, visiting, blah, 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 that we got to this realization that um, there were some real qualitative differences there, that uh, people needed a structure to move into. And this was one of the structures that was available uh, and and it was huge and there were other cities as well gatherings i'm not sure what to call them um but we called this one the way station because it looked like a resting point for people who had had one life were studying that life were learning from it and were getting ready to come back were figuring out okay where am i going to go next in order to continue learning so that's how the way station that's how you know I talk about the way station like everybody knows about it but it's really something that hardly anybody knows about and very few people have experienced the way station is a construct of us we created the station so it's not something that we're not going that's to some ET ET so to speak we're not going to a platform that was cre we created this this world that's right. right we create reality systems wherever we go we are the ones who say well i want this or i think we should do that or i want that or i don't want such and such we're the ones doing this we are so powerful and um that i think is something we're going to have to come to grips with and face um, pretty quickly here over this next decade and and that's critical for our survival as well as the well-being of everybody in this reality system it's an amazing reality system we have sort of messed it up but um we can fix it we are the ones who can do almost anything it, it starts with you know the idea the vision the feeling that we're trying to get out of that vision the action, the sights, the sounds, the tastes, the smells, whatever. That is something that I think is we're going to get a lot more comfortable with as we unfold over this next few decades. <laughs>